What's up guys? Welcome back to the basement. You remember Da Vinci Jeremy when he made that video? Please just buy one dollar in Bitcoin. Caspa at 10 11 cents. This is probably a 2.0. Please, with not financial advice, just buy 10k of Caspa. Caspa right now has a lot of low interest, if that makes sense. It has low interest. Low interest, the trading volume's down to 28 million, which is down 35%. No one's talking about it. I mean, I've been talking about it a lot. Some even say I talk about it all the time and they want to keep seeing me talk about it. But Caspa, for those who have not been following me for any period of time, is my single best investment opportunity, in my opinion. I think 10 cents, 11 cents is a gift. I also think it's a mistake thinking it's going to hit 5 cents or trying to time this on a downtrend. Uh, if you click the week chart for Caspa, it's down 8%. If you click the month, it's down 24%, which is the all-time high. It was 15 cents, and then it cooled off, and now it's in a downtrend. Um, if you click the year chart, though, it's still up 2,400%, which can destroy Raditz and Dragon Ball Z. If you click the old chart, it's up over 26,000%, which would annihilate Nappa when he was concerned about, you know, over 9K. To be on a serious note, though, a lot of people that have you know low interest in Caspa, this is why I'm dollar cost averaging. If you've been on my Discord and Patreon, you've been seeing my last previous alerts have been Caspa, you know, other crypto as well, but Caspa, because I like buying cryptos that everybody's staying away from. I like buying cryptos that has low interest. I like buying cryptos that has FUD surrounding it. What's some FUD for Caspa? It's a meme coin. I just got that one recently. It's a meme coin. No utility. There's nothing happening. Ghost ecosystem. Ghost team. No tier 1 listing. No tier 1's going to ever list it. I am not joking. Aside from this one's better, this one's better. Could care less. You know, I'm not here to regurgitate why I'm bullish. I mean, you guys know why. The tech, the launch, the team, the fundamentals. I mean, it pumped for itself. Like, a lot of people confuse the year chart and think that's how every single day has to be for caspa did you really think caspa was going to keep doing this this is why i was telling everybody like in my caspa videos when it was a penny on the way up don't get addicted to this it's gonna come back down and then everybody was selling their cryptos for caspa and i'm like guys it's not gonna just pump forever it's gonna eventually marry bitcoin which it's doing at the market cap which i said it would do it and now all of a sudden People had these uh, home alone faces and they're like, oh my God, Caspa hasn't moved in two weeks. What's going on? It hasn't moved in a month. It's like, this is what you want. This is what you want. If you want to accumulate Caspa, you know, like really early before the masses do, this is the time to do it. Not financial advice, of course. I'm not saying if you buy Caspa now, it can't go back down to eight cents tomorrow. What I'm saying is when you zoom out, you're going to see a lot of home alone faces uh, investors wish they bought Caspa at 10 cents or sub 50 cents or sub a dollar. Listen, even a dollar is a 10x from here, and that's where the ultra conservative uh, investors think it's going. I still think two dollars minimum, five dollars is in the cards. But that being said, like this is one of the best opportunities, and a lot of people are letting this slide by, and they're gonna come back in a few months and be like, wow. Caspa was 10 to 12 cents for three friggin' months. How the hell did I let this one go through my fingers? I've seen this happen with I don't even know how many crypto. It's going to happen to Caspa. You're going to see the shocked home alone faces. I'm not joking. I'm not even trying to be funny because I'm not missing out. I've been buying Caspa. And before you say, John, how would you, why would you buy at the top? I've been buying on the way up and the way down. I buy on dips, yes, but I love Caspa for a long-term investment. I plan to buy it in the next bear market. I know we're getting ahead of ourselves here, but that's how bullish and convicted I am into Caspa. And Caspa, you know, a lot of people are waiting for a tier one listing to jump in. But at that point, it could double in price from here. It could hit 25 cents. A lot of people, and I see this every time I drop a video for Caspa, I get the same questions. Where can you buy it? Where can you buy it? I wish it was on Coinbase. A lot of people want to buy it, but can't buy it yet or don't want to buy it because you can only get it on like Uphold or a few exchanges. So 
the price is where it's at because a lot of people can't access it. They can't buy it, but they want to buy it. And I just saw a top YouTuber who I used to follow. He's pretty much a Bitcoin maxi, and he just said in one of his live streams, he's buying Casper. And I respect him a lot. And the fact that he's buying Casper, I don't know if he watches my video. Shout out to him. He's a great guy. But uh, if that's the case, he's finding out with his research that Casper's bullish. And he's been around this market for a lot longer than me. So... A lot of top YouTubers, and I guarantee this, they're not going to make their videos, but they're buying Caspa. Listen, like I said, the charts like this, right? It's a little bit of a downtrend. Okay, a little bit of a downtrend. But for the most part, when Caspa was consolidating, that means you had equal buyers and sellers. And now I guess the FUD got to all the retail investors, so they're selling. They're paper hand selling. That's why my Patreon, we call each other sharks. I mean, we have some dolphins there too. And we got some whales, sure. You know, we have a handful of them. But the majority of us will eat retail whenever we, you know, see fit. Because we know this market is like this. But this is how you got to be as an investor. You got to be aggressive with your investing. You got to have intention, some purpose. You got to know what you're doing, right? Um, A lot of people, I feel like, they're just showing lack of interest in Casper and they're saying, okay, I'm going to stay away until it gets interesting. Well, why would you want to buy it when it's doing this? You want to buy it when it's like this or ideally like this. Again, you click the month chart. It's down pretty much 25%. That's a gift. This is a Christmas gift from last year. This is a, you know, Bitcoin having gift. No one knows where it's going to go. Like I said, it could definitely go lower than this. I'm no TA expert and I still think TA is pretty much all garbage, but it still is a great discount. This is a great discount. It's only a 2.4 billion market cap. Mark my words, Caspa is not going to be in a downtrend throughout 2024. You may see this for another couple weeks, maybe a month, so be it. I'm telling you right now, the people who are missing out on this downtrend, they're going to have regrets. They're going to be the same ones who come back in six months and say, hey, John, Casper's up 700%. Is it too late to buy now? Should I get in now? Like, it's going to, you're going to see. I'm telling you guys, I, I see these comments all the time. I'm seeing them now for different cryptos. Like, I'm seeing them on Artblock, LCX, uh, freaking Say. Like, I'm telling you guys, we're going to see this with Casper. It's going to happen. But I know the majority of you have followed me. You guys are holding it as well. And I see in my Discord, a lot of you guys are just as convicted as I am. This is why you got to have belief in your assets. You got to have belief because when you see this or a downtrend, you get greedy and buy some more when the majority stay away. If you want to be in the top 20% and actually make money, you got to do the opposite of what the majority are currently doing, which is running away, staying away, trying to find out the reason why their crypto is falling, their favorite crypto is falling, which is why you never buy on hype and you always buy on research and fundamentals. And by the way, if you're interested, if you want to talk to me, reach out to me, see what crypto I buy, sell next, or you want to run your portfolio by me be a part of voice chat hangouts where you can literally hang out with me be a part of live streams just did my first one uh yesterday if you want to be a part of like mine investors who also want to change their life then i highly encourage you to not do this yourself be a lone wolf be in a nice support group that's where you can find me on patreon and discord i'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below but anyways now i want to hear from you are you still bullish on caspa and if so where do you see its price this bull cycle drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in Death Hill.